Hello, now in uh, this question we will see, we will explore the concept of uh, type 1 and type 2 error. Now this is a classical IB question, let's see it. It says, the number of fish that can be caught in one hour from a particular, uh, particular lake can be modeled by a Poisson distribution. Now, the owner of uh, Lake, Emily, states in her adver uh, advertising that the average number of fish caught in an hour is three. So the average number of fish is three. Tom, a keen fisherman, is not convinced and thinks it is less than three. Less than three. He decides to set up the following test. Tom will finish for uh, will fish for one hour and if he will catch his fewer than two fish he will reject Emily's claim so this Tom guy we will uh, he wants to make a test and check if he will uh, catch less than two fish then he will reject see he will reject Emily's claim now State a suitable null and alternative hypothesis for Tom's test. Again, Tom says that he thinks that uh, it is less than three, though Emily says that it is three per hour, per one hour. Now here, uh, the hypothesis testing, it's easy. I can have as a null hypothesis that uh, the null hypothesis again uh, we say that uh, what the um, person that thinks that this is the correct, that's the null hypothesis, the positive one. Which is the positive here? That the mean is equal by 3. Now, the alternative hypothesis is going to be what? Uh, the alternative is going to be that the mean is less than three, meaning that he will catch less than three uh, fish. Uh, so it means two and less. Now, the question in A, of course, you can write it by word, so it's going to be the same. Now, find the probability of type one error. Now, you have to understand that, you have to know, basically, that uh, type 1 error in a hypothesis testing uh, is when we find the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis here given from the data that I have. So basically, here, what do they say? Here, I must see what uh, what's the rejection hypothesis. First, we have to understand that for sure we accept that the null hypothesis is true, that the mean is literally 3 for the type 1 error. Huh? So since the uh, mean is 3, the guy says, uh, Tom, says that it is fewer than 2, which means fewer than 2, don't forget, fewer than 2, it means basically one and less because I cannot accept two. Basic, be, uh, be careful with the wording so as not to make any mistake. So basically, now I want to calculate the probability that given that the mean is three, depending on Emily, I want the probability of x, my, uh, I want to find the probability that x is 1, so as to reject it. That's a type 1 error. Now, um, I hope that uh, it clarifies. Whatever they would say here, for example, they would say, uh, Tom would say, fewer than 3. Then here, fewer than three, it means fewer than three, it means for sure two and less. 
the wording is the most important part in these problems. So I have to calculate that. How I will do it? Since they will, let me bring up my calculator. Here. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Now, since I have a, a Poisson distribution, I have to understand, first of all, uh, what is my lambda. The lambda here, I see that Emily says that the mean is 3. So basically, that means that my lambda is 3. That's the basic part of the test that I will do. So here I will go second distribution. I will take the Poisson CDF because I want up to 1. Since the guy wants less than 2, it means 0 and 1. And let me calculate what's the probability of, have of having that, of making that error. Now the mean is... Um, three and the value is up to two sorry one less than two so it's one one ninety nineteen nine so the probability of that is zero point one nine nine I don't care about the other one. Let me remove my calculator. Nice. So I have that for my question B, for type 1 error. Now, for C. Let's see C. The average number of fees caught in an hour is actually 2.5. So basically, let me say, let me see. Uh, Tom says that it is less than two. So basically, it's more than two. So literally, uh, Tom made a mistake. Now I have to understand what is this type uh, two error. The type two error is to uh, what's the probability to accept the false. Uh, uh, hypothesis which means that this the mean uh, the mean being three it's not correct it's wrong so now i want to calculate the probability again because it's always uh, a probability given that how much is the probability now i know that it is 2.5 they give it they gave it to me here I know that it is 2.5. What's the probability to get now x to be what? x should be bigger or equal than 2 because here they say that it's 3. In my case, it must be more than 2 because don't forget this is a discrete variable. The fish is 1, 2, 3, it's not 2.2 or so bigger than 2, which means 3 and more. Uh, now, my calculator cannot calculate this probability. My calculator, uh, my calculator can calculate probabilities, if I, this is the graph, from 0 up to 1 point, to a certain point. So now they tell me what's the probability of being bigger than 2. The easiest way is to say, okay, I will calculate the probability up to 2, and I will say it's 1 minus that probability, the probability of 2. So this one basically, it means the probability of this one will be 1 minus the probability of what? X being less than 1. Because 2, I want 2 and above. 2, 3, given of m equals 2.5. So you understand? 
I want the probability for two and more, but because I cannot calculate in my calculator, some calculators, TI uh, Inspire, can calculate that. But in this case, if you have TI 84 uh, plus or plus C, you should use this formula. So now let me bring my calculator again here. 1, 2.5. So I will go again. Second distribution. Poisson. CDF. The mean is 2.5. And the value is up to, we said up to uh, 1. So basically here I should have 1. Paste. Now that's, that is up to 1. Eh? But because I want the opposite, I want 1 minus this one. The answer is going to be what here the answer is 0 0.7 let me see it again how much is it 1 3 1 3 and that's how I calculate type 2 error and type 1 error be careful many problems will be similar they will give me a distribution I have to find the mean and then depending what I need it's a type 1 error meaning I will not give I, I will uh, I, my my um, null hypothesis is correct and on the other side my null hypothesis is not correct